Okay, so I have one more garment to share with you and I made For my next sewing project, I want to make a dress. I want to use Simplicity 9451 View B and I want to mash it up with McCall 7991, this shorter skirt. So I want to take that piece and put it together with this top and hopefully it will turn out to be a cute dress. I decided that I wanted to shorten the front and back pattern pieces for the top. So I used this waistline area here and I just made a mark two inches down on each piece, the front piece and the back piece. Then I folded the pattern up and tucked this portion here under the pattern and then I just cut everything out. And these are the pieces cut. This is fabric that I purchased from LA Finch Fabrics and it's kind of like a t-shirt material. So it has a decent amount of stretch from left to right and not a whole lot of stretch going up and down. And these are the skirt pieces. Okay, so I wanted to share something that may be a little confusing. I am actually working on step number two where you attach the back to the front at the shoulder area. And this is the shoulder area here. I already put the basting stitches in. I just need to pull them up. And this is the shoulder area on the other side. I already pinned this the way it's supposed to go. But on this side, according to the picture, it looks like there's a notch that needs to match up. The back should have a notch and the front should have a notch according to this picture, but there's no notch here. And this is the pattern piece and there's no notch on the pattern piece. The back piece does have a notch, but it doesn't show where it is supposed to meet up. But, you do gather this up. And this needs to gather up and meet up to fit into this little area, even though there isn't a notch. So they do actually go together. But I guess maybe they just forgot to put the notch on the front. So I pulled up all the gathering stitches on this side. I did notice that there's a dot on the wrong side there, there's a dot there, and on the back piece there's a dot there, also a dot there. So you can match up the dots to make sure that everything is lined up properly, but you just go ahead and match your corners that to that. This goes to this, and this notch is not matching up with anything but you do go ahead and sew this together just like that even though that notch is not lining up with anything here are the gathers after they are sewn in and i went ahead and did the other side so this is how those gathers are looking i actually also finished the neck edge and now i am pinning the skirt together I have the skirt all sewn up and I have the top tucked inside of the skirt and it's looking like everything is going to match together without a problem. So this should turn into a dress. So it's all one piece now. So let's see what it's looking like. Hey, there we go. It's a dress. I did end up shortening the skirt. There is a button 
in the top neck area of the dress and I also did not add the bias tape to the raw edge of the sleeves I just folded the hem over and sewed it down okay so I have one more garment to share with you and I made changes to this garment also it is the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top it's really kind of like a simple t-shirt, so I think you can make these changes to any t-shirt pattern. All I did was I left the sleeves off, and I knew that I wanted to make a drawstring to go through the bottom of the hem, so I shortened the front of the top just by a little bit, and then I made a string to thread through the bottom of the hem in the front. I left the back of the top just the same. And then all I did after that was I just knotted the ends of the ties just to make sure that they wouldn't pull back through the opening in the garment. And then that is it. So this was a really, really easy make. And I made a video recently where I did the same thing with drawstrings, except I put the drawstrings through the front and the back of the garment. But it goes into details on how to make the drawstrings and how to get a clean finish around the edge of the hem. So I will link that video below if you're interested. Now before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. So you know how you have these cords that you use to charge your devices? Well, sometimes when the cord is plugged in, it's hanging. We have to reach down and pick them up off the floor to charge our devices. If it's dark in the room, you may not be able to see, so you may be feeling around trying to find the cord. Well, I recently learned about this little handy device. So what you can do is when you are reaching down to pick up that cord, you can reach down just one time, grab the cord and snap it down to the top of this magnetic device and your cord will stay in place. You don't have to worry about looking and hunting for that cord anymore. So I think this is a great little gadget to have and I plan to keep mine in my sewing room and I will link it below if you're interested in checking it out.